nobody's here yet in the office. See a bunch of holes everywhere. Um, and I am prepping for JK party and prepping entails me playing some games and then just making sure I have all the elements that I need. So I just finished my foods and it's really crazy because um, since I'm tracking now, like I just crave food even less. I feel like um, as it is, eating for me is, is already a task. I know for some people you guys get hangry um, or you guys just can't focus until you eat. But for me, like picking out what to eat and where to go get it. I'm just like, uh, it's such a task. Like, like I know I need food for survival, duh. And of course these are um, first world problems. Um, but I, it's just, I don't know. Maybe I just need to suck it the fuck up and stuff like a little bitch, but I, I just forget to eat. I just don't want to eat. So um, now that I'm tracking, it just, so having that mentality, and then now that I'm tracking, um, having to think like, okay, wait, I need to fill these numbers. Like I want food even less. So I got McDonald's, um, their Egg White Delight, because it's super macro friendly and it's really filling. Um, and as soon as we start filming, I don't have any time to eat because I'm like running the whole thing. So um, it, it, it keeps me full until we wrap, at, which is around five, but yeah. All right, no longer alone. Ryan. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. And Sean are here. And what do you guys usually do today? Or right now? We usually set up for party, and then once we're done setting up, uh, we usually go get food. Because, you know, despite it being 11 o'clock, most of us are just like, it's still breakfast time, so. <laughs> and who started, who came up with the mandate concept? Like, mandate? A team effort? No, don't call it a team effort. It's a mandate. A mandate. mandate? That sounds so official and like scary. Oh, but you guys, no, 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 no. how many? It's a mandate. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> what did you? Oh, you that mandate? Shit. Like a mandate? Like okay. mandatory. I think that was like... What's a mandatory mandate? Because you guys never miss your mandates. That's true. Because we're all usually pretty hungry and we like hanging out with each other. Geo <laughs> never comes and gets food with us. They call me. Hey, because I come here like at eight in the morning. To this prep, and I get food early. So, but I, what I find is cute is um, that you guys always plan your your yeah, mandates. Yeah, we plan like the night before. <laughs> We're like, okay, what are we gonna eat? Uh, I don't know, dim sum, uh, Loha Food Factory. I think it just started with. I think it was Brandon. You were Brandon started asking like, so where are we eat? Because we used to eat at IHOP like every week, and then it was just like, oh Jesus! After like enough weeks of this, is like. Uh, let's okay. start against that wall. That wall. Okay. It was just like, oh, this is too much IHOP, we need a different place. So we've been like trying to go to different places. You guys are so cute. <laughs> you guys like literally plan it. Like who, who do you guys text each other in the night before? That, Actually, you know, yeah, we do. <laughs> we're like, hey, uh, so where are we going tomorrow? No, uh, it's usually like, oh, party shoot tomorrow. Uh, but more, when the brand chimes in, but more importantly, where are we go eating? <laughs> is that what he says? Yeah. Is that what Brandon says? Yeah, yeah. He's only here for the food? <laughs> well, I mean, he's here to, to film, but the important part of the morning is the That's food. true. The mandate. I get it. I'm just a little jealous. I don't go on these mandates. No. That's all. I mean, you're always invited. Yeah, we always ask you on anything. You I know. You guys kind of gave up on me already. You guys just bounce now. You're like, yeah. this no, home ain't coming. Gio, you want to come eat? Gio, you want to come eat? Yeah, right, leave. I get it. No, I get it. You don't have to ask anymore. Oh, yeah. I get it. Okay. All right, I'll see you guys later. No more right. harassing. Peace. Speak of the devil. Hold on, it's too bright out there. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, Bichoy. I heard you're the ringleader for the mandates that you guys have. It didn't come out. No, they said that in your group me that you're you're like, oh yeah, JKP shoot tomorrow. Most importantly, though, what We're are we gonna eating? eating? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, I was just giving them shit because you guys have mandates and I don't go. That's all. She just feels left out. No, I don't feel left. Well, I do, but I get it. <laughs> I get it. I always thought you were too cool to eat with us. That's what Damn! No! We even offer like three to go. We're like, yeah. hey, anything to bring us back. No, no, that's not the... I'm here at 8 in the morning prepping. And then I get food. So then by the time you guys get here, I'm full. That's all. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Whatever, Naked Bleak. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so this is Ryan's car, and he has a black car. Look at how clean he keeps his car. Look at how much of a shitty car owner I am. There's like this thick layer of brown because I never wash my car. I'm just gonna assume that Ryan keeps his car parked in a garage. That'll make me feel like less of a shitty car owner. Right, that's what I'll tell myself. <laughs> All right, so I am at Ralph's now, just trying to pick up some last minute props for today's shoot. And I'm looking for a flat pan, which I think this might be it. Oh no, it's not flat enough. I think this might be it. This works. Two of these. I'm down with it. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. Gotta raise the stakes because they have to roll some eggs on it and it's gotta be a risk of them dropping it and making a mess on the floor. I think this will do it because it's flat. Yeah, I think this works. All right, so I got that and I need like a million cups. Oh, well they don't have a million but they have a hundred, so that works. Right here, 100 cups, sucker. Well, these round, they are round, right? Because I hate when they're like this weird edge. I can get this. These work. Sweet red cups. Check. All right, so here's my list of things, whoops, that I need. But you can't see shit. There it is. There's a list of things that I need. Got it. I can always spray paint it. Can't get that here. I need that here. Can't get that here. Could get it here, could get it here. So I just need these two things, and I'm done in this bitch. Stuff I thought that's all I needed, but I looked at my list again, and I actually need eggs, stickers, lip roller. I'm an idiot. So my favorite part about being in a grocery store is that I never look at the signs. So you see those signs? Well, actually, there's one right above my head. See these signs? It tells you what to expect any child, but I kind of like living on the wild side and I just like taking a wild guess. So I need a lint roller. And this aisle looked kind of promising, but now I'm not even sure anymore. So let the guessing games begin. Got my favorite aisle ever. You guessed it. The candy aisle. My least favorite candy, by the way. Right, so I picked up the last of the things that I needed that I can buy here at this grocery store, and the last item was eggs, right here. And I opted to get six, because in this challenge, there's six players, each one of us needs an egg, and I always feel so bad. I feel so bad when I have to waste food. So just me having to do this challenge <clears throat> and potentially breaking or losing one of these eggs and wasting it kind of breaks my heart, seriously, because I'm just like so appreciative of any of the parts or things that animals produce for us, and I hate that I have to do this. So it's one of the things that I'm torn about. The little eggs. Thank you, little eggs. Right, so I left the grocery market, and now I'm at a local shop called, do you see that? Called Daiso. And they had like really cool and expensive things um, imported from Japan. Um, and everything here is about a dollar, so it's very reasonably priced. The quality is whatever, but what do you expect when you're paying a dollar or less? So um, I thought this was the best bang for the buck. Now I gotta get now I gotta get the last few items that I need before I go back to the office. So these are some of the things that they have. I'm looking for some stickers. And these look like it's a pretty good size. Because you have to roll it over an egg and then put it on. But I feel like this might be more of a challenge. You see, look at these pencils. At the other store, it was $5. Here, it's only a dollar. And it's just a pencil. You can't go wrong with that. Alright, so I think I have everything I need. I've got cups, pencils, paper bags that I'm going to cut down to size. This is for our dirty laundry. Because we do get dirty on JK, if you haven't noticed. 
I think I'm gonna head out now. I think that's it. I'm on their makeup aisle. They have so much stuff. It's ridiculous. They have everything you can think of here. All right, guys, all done. Picking up whatever props I needed to get. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Now I'm going back to the office. All right, just gonna do some prepping now. The hard stuff, I'm actually leaving up to Sean. He does all that shit. I'm just organizing it. Board's here now, so I can't really talk about too much what we're gonna do, because I really do like the element of surprise when I see it on everyone's faces, and I feel like you guys also enjoy it, so I'm gonna try to be discreet about everything, because he's right over here. He's usually late, but for the past month now, he's actually been on time. And this time around, he's about like 30 minutes early. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Let the preparations begin. All right, so I'm done. All right. And then look at this. Imagine eating with this shit, Josh. It was like. And everyone's here now. So it's Tiff, Josh, Bart, no, I'm saying I just Julia. Um, you can see my own reflection. Dude, that don't freaking suck. No, dude, it is. What is that? It's fucked up chopstick. I just opened it. This one's fine. Damn, dog. Someone's trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. And now it's time for me to put on my makeup. Joe's actually going to be late, so. I ain't tripping because I need time to put on my makeup. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, Josh's girlfriend, he tried to smash. Oh, no. He's trying to smash. Wait, smash or. Wait, wait, you don't want to smash yeah. a girlfriend. You want to smash a girl that's hot. So are you trying to smash or are you trying to get a girlfriend? He's trying to do. No, both. I'm both. not. He's trying he's to date this man. No. Side chick. What? Yeah. He's got a main chick and a side chick. Yeah, no, but. I do not. Yeah, he does. You heard he has a girlfriend. I do not. No, no. she's Brazilian. Oh. No. She's Brazilian? Yeah, she's Brazilian. Do you not listen to her? Yeah. You are just as bad as <laughs> What's the truth? What's the truth? What's her name? No. You know Josh. No. Her name's No, so she's Vietnamese? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> no, for real. I am, That's her last name. I am for real. For real. I am half Vietnamese, <laughs> half Mexican. Yes. For real. So, so where is this? Where are these rumors coming no, from? No, for real. Ryan, what? Yes. Why are you spreading rumors? Why are you spreading rumors. <laughs> hey man, I'm just going off of what you said. What did he? What? Going off, no. what did he say? Josh was like, "Oh, so I'm talking to this girl." I'm like, "Oh, wait, no." So you're trying to smash? I'm not trying to smash. You got a girlfriend? I don't know. <laughs> No, what you, you know, listen, listen, this, Josh. Man, I'm trying to do nothing. The thing is, Josh won't admit it. He doesn't talk about his personal exactly. stuff. So it has come to us. Yeah, we just trust me. I'm his best friend. <laughs> what? Holy shit. Wait, no. We just, we just no. have to make assumptions. What, you deny our friendship? We are friends. Well, who's your best friend then? Ooh. I see how Ooh, now you get to choose favorites. Oh, yeah. Who think, is your best friend, Josh? I, I was your best friend. Oh. 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 All right, guys. Yeah. Babe, can you explain your shoes? Yeah. So we were playing this game where we had to put an egg on a tray and we have to get all the stickers. But to protect the carpet from getting smashed by yolk, we had trash bags. But the problemo with that is if the yolk lands on the floor, it's going to destroy your shoes, so we have to go barefoot. But the problem with that is if you're going barefoot on the trash bag, it's going to stick. So I came up with the genius invention of chanclas. <laughs> How do they, they look like uh, gladiator shoes. And they can help fan people. See, look how cool Tiff looks. She looks comfortable. <laughs> You're all worn out. He's exercising too. All right, so we just finished playing a handful of games for JK Party, how do you feel? I feel exhausted. <laughs> Why do you feel exhausted? I'm so energy drained. Because we were just so pumped. We're just trying to make sure that Josh wouldn't do the thing that he will do, and he did it. You got joshed, we got which joshed. is what? So we were in the lightning round, sudden death. We had to choose one team player from each team. You guys chose Julia, smart choice. Us. Uh, Bart was choosing me, but then Josh is like, no, 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 I got this, I got this, don't even trip, I got this. We're like, okay, you're you're way overconfident, but all right, you go ahead. So what the game was, we put an egg in the middle, and you had to like balance it and try to get all these stickers to stick on the egg, and freaking Josh 
of course he drops the egg and we're like what happened i thought you got it it was like oh. and then he so was like calm down training. calm that's, down that's the josh go to calm down we all got joshed <laughs> I have no recollection of those events. You have no recollection? You need a table connected. Do you have a recollection? Yeah. Collection of recollection. Recollection. So what happened? Tell your side of the story, Josh. I know I know you know yourself better than anyone else. Alright, so I'll tell you the honest part. The honest tell me the honest part. The honest part. Really you get it? So we were all playing and it was a sudden death round. And I said, Hey Tip, you should probably go up. But then Tip Fire. What do you mean? So then Tiff was like, no, Josh. No, look in the camera, because then it's gonna people are gonna think you're lying. I'm not lying though. Okay, so then Tiff was like, Josh, you should go up. I believe in you. I have the other most confidence in you. You see, that's Even where you're lying because everyone knows Tiffany bullies you. No. So she wouldn't so this no, time she Tif said it. No, Tiffany she had it seemed I looked in her into her eyes and it seemed as though she had a lot of confidence in me, so then I was like, you know what? With your confidence and with Bart cheering me on of course, I'm just going to step up and, you know, own up to the field, own up to the plate. So, me, I've got... Brandon, you're not impressing me. Ooh. When did I ever cheer you on? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> back to the real story. This is making up stories? Anyways, back to the real story. So, I'm looking at Julia and I shake Julia's hand and I say, Julia, you're the best person win. So afterwards, you know, while I'm trying to, like, juggle the egg, make sure it doesn't fall off, Sadly, I noticed Julia is about, her egg's about to fall off, so, you know, courageous me, I make sure that she has all her eyes on me, so I kind of, like, tilt my egg a little bit forward, that way she's all like, no, 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 I'll bring my egg back, but my egg falls, so, sadly, I lose, and that's... Because you were trying to save Julia. Yeah, because I was trying to save Julia. Who are you? Are? You are the biggest liar ever! <laughs> I can't believe you spent three minutes explaining this lie. Josh, just admit defeat. That's it, just admit it. No. You see, you see, I am a supportive friend, but Julia, she's like, just... I don't know. What's coming up? What, what's come over you? I'm... What, why are you... Why, wait. why am I getting all this? Whoa, like, whoa, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on you're saying this? you're the supportive friend? Who was the person that walked into the Poke store and cut in front of a uh, long ass line to be like, hey, buddy, I didn't see you here? And he's like, can you help me get some food? And I was like, Josh, you're cutting? But then, you know what? As a good friend, I was like, you know what? Let me place an order for you, Josh. <gasps> what Josh. a cutter. No. What a line cutter. No. No, 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 no. Goddamn. Who's a supportive friend now? I took the heat. That's right. Yeah. Such fire. Such lies. Such lies. Such fire in my eyes. Tiff had a good snap idea, so I'm just going to jack her. Can you sing it, Joe? Okay. Go. It's like a walk, 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 Your stomach's not as big as Bart's. I'm trying to expand it. You don't have enough tits either. I think I shook some piss out of my dick. Ew, what the fuck? Let's play. All right, we're going to play now. That's what happened to girls, though. All right, just wrapped JK party and I am completely spent right now. I'm so exhausted. Um, but it was fun. As you guys can see, it's always fun in games, especially because it's literally games and it's fun because I'm with all my friends and people that I absolutely adore. So that was, uh, that's always a plus. But now I am gonna grab some food, but I'm not even trying to lie. Bart's actually grabbing the food for us. So I'm gonna head home change my clothes and get ready for my barbell meetings. I'm so boring. I really am. Day. 
where I get to unwind and start wrapping up my night. Um, Bart has one last meeting that's about to wrap up pretty soon. Um, and this is part of the day now where him and I get to be a couple. Because <laughs> um, it's pretty funny because although we live together, like, and I'm sure we've said this a million times, we don't really get to see much of each other. And um, lately it's been less and less because just... You know, we're handling so many different departments that really don't cross. So the only times I really do get to see him is when we're filming. Or if, like, we're pitching an idea for JK and he, like, him and Joe need to approve it. Or if him and I have um, a big meeting about Barbell and, and the future of Barbell. But other than that, we don't really hang out much. Um, and it's okay. Um, I'm really comfortable and confident in the type of relationship that we have because I mean we're way past that honeymoon phase where it's like you know you guys have to check in with each other all the time and reassure each other you know like does, does he love me does she love me why isn't he thinking about me why isn't he texting me or you know does she even miss me like you know she's never really trying to check in and see if I'm okay or any of that like We've been there, we've done that, and it's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. And and if you're in that phase right now in your relationship, then I say, dude, please, like, relish those moments, cherish them, take advantage of that. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, you know, things just die down and, and that spark dies or, or that passion that you guys have in the beginning, like, that's all gone. No, I feel like... You kind of just change and you evolve and the love that you guys share now and express to one, in one another actually becomes a lot more different. So instead of, you know, constantly checking up on each other via text or call or not that, again, not that there's anything wrong with that. Now it becomes a little bit deeper and it's more like um, you don't check in as often, but when you do, it's very heartfelt and it's and it's very real. So it's more things like, hey, babe, or hey, honey, have you eaten? So that's kind of like checking in and making sure that you're, you know, you're taking care of your nutrition and your, you know, your belly is happy and, and you're healthy and, um, you know, that you have fuel so that you can continue on working how you work. And, and I feel like that's, that's a way deeper connection. Um, and don't get my words twisted either. I feel like, I mean, you guys see how Bard and I are like. We're constantly being like super cute and super lovey. And I feel like that takes a lot of of um, breaking down of walls. You know, like I feel like a lot of us, we put up these walls to give a certain perception of, of who we are to the world. But when it comes to our significant other, um, some of us, and this was me in the past, don't know how to bring those down. And I feel like when you can be vulnerable with each other and, and kind of be cutesy and, and make little baby talk. I mean, everyone expresses their love differently. Like, I'm just using my own personal experience here as an example. But um, when I'm all, like, cutesy and, and bear talk with, you know, with Bart, I really feel like I'm, com I'm completely emotionally bare and naked with him. And I have no fronts and nothing to hide and, and no walls to hide behind. And it's it's very comforting. It feels really, 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 really cool. So when I have moments like this or days like this or even weeks or months like this where, you know, we're not the closest and we don't see each other the most, it's okay. It's fine because I feel like, you know, Bart did a great job of you know, always showing me how much he loves me and how important I am in his life and, you know, that he's a very goal-driven person with such such a smart brain and, and all his priorities are straight. So I never feel like I'm not number one in his book or, like, not number one in his life. So, yeah, like, Bart's been killing it at the Hubs game for sure. Like, I, I don't question his love. So, although, you know, we we live such crazy lives, I know that when we do get back together, that it's like, it's like, 
We never miss the beat. It's really fucking cool. And I have my best friend. And we can bond. And we can laugh. And we can share, you know, things that we learn while we were apart. And we bring it back. And then we become twice as smart. Because it's like, now we don't have to do the research. Because our other partner did it for us. And they share their knowledge with us. And look at that. We just became super fucking smart together. So it's really, really freaking cool. But I'm not going to lie. I definitely miss him at night. Like, at night is designated bear time for sure so it's getting close to that missing paw bear hour so we better get his ass here quick paw bear I heard a lot of noises in there. What's going on? Nothing. I'm just making sure that all the bubble wraps fits the packages properly. It sounds like a lot of bubble wraps are being popped in there. Yeah, there's a lot of packages I'm packaging right now. Are you sure your bubble wraps aren't going to rip? Yeah. How come it smells funny? I'm packaging a lot of funny smelling things. <laughs> well, how come your pants are off? Because I'm sweating. But the vent's on. The funny things smell funny on my packages. <laughs> Where are they going? Why are you packing so much? Someone's got to do the job around here. But what are you packing? All the stuff that's all in here. <laughs> where, where is it going to go once you package it? It's going to go to the shipping station. Who's going to take it there? The freaking delivery people. Do you believe him? Me. We don't believe you. Why? I think there's more going on in there. There isn't. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh no, something fishy's going on. There's nothing going on here, I'm just packaging. Fine. You guys believe he was packing stuff? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Fun, Bricky, you hear it too, huh? I think there's a raccoon, and that's what she keeps looking at. from where you're at, open your mouth and stick your tongue out. Pretend like you're licking a bone because it looks like you're licking a bone. <laughs> well, kind of. Popper, yeah. is this bear time? I don't know, is it bear time? Dang, I'm jealous. What the fuck? What? Go squeeze your boobs like that. No, no, don't do that. Yeah, don't show your face. Damn, Tsuong, you look like a female. I don't even have that cleavage. Yeah, you do. That's true. I paid for mine, though. Yeah. You got really nice pecs. I can almost pick got... four or five. Oh, see you later, Sarah. Have a good night. Oh, bye, Sarah. I didn't know you were here. Sorry. No, why are you sorry? It's your house. No, I saw Bart's pecs and I got so distracted. We're thinking about getting some frozen yogurt real quick. Do you want frozen yogurt or a snack? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have macros to fill or no? Let me check. That's important question. Where are you going to go? I don't even know. Whatever is close. You know what's crazy? <laughs> my, uh, you know I've been cutting? Yeah. So I don't have a six pack, but I have lines in my back. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Where your six pack is to be? Yeah, but there's I lines. See. You always have a six pack. There's lines in my fat. My stomach's so weird. It's, there is lines. What the fuck? It's like, it's, uh, even though I'm fucking hella fat, like you can tell. You're obese. You're like huge. I'm hella fat right now, but. Like huge. But You're I, huge. But I have lines in my fat. <laughs> You're not huge.
They're very attractive. I'm down for yogurt. She keeps hitting my foot. You're down for yogurt? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look for you. Wanna get yogurt, babe? Yeah, let's do it. Some frozen yogurt. Fro yo! <laughs> Bozo! What the hell? What? Where are we? In China, what? <laughs> in China? Yeah, you see all these Chinese, these Chinese words all right over there. This is Gong Hei Fat Choy. Oh, now it says open. This is Gong Hei Fat Choy. Give me a ping pong ball. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually at Yogurt Land because somebody needed to fill macros and he dragged poor Sarah along. I, don't, I need yogurt. <laughs> How do you know us? Damn! Well, you're in my vlog, so say hi. Hey guys. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Thank you. Dang, that VIP treatment though. Not really. Look at all these toppings. <laughs> Can't go with you anywhere. All right, which one should I try? Rocket Pop Sorbet, Chocolate Twilight, Fresh Strawberry, Mango, Pistachio. I'm usually a plain, plain tart type of person. Let me see what's over here. Which one did you try? Your cheesecake, you wanna try? Yeah. No, it's not good. Can you give me some salted caramel? Which one? Yeah. I think I could get full of samples. So jokes on you, yogurt line. Just kidding, I love you, yogurt line. For real. Wow, that's so much. I just need a little I know, sample. I just did one little drop. <laughs> Let's try this one. You don't like anything in life, I don't need to. Everybody doesn't give you like a little bit Take it easy. Hey, take more soda, put some toppings on a sample cup. <laughs> so Chinese, dude. Uh, uh, Are you gonna post your vlog? So, Sarah's been vlogging. Are you gonna post your vlogs anywhere? I'm waiting. Oh. I'm stockpiling. Nice. And I have some plants behind it all. Nice. Who's editing your stuff? Jeremy Klein, Strong Jewish. Damn, dual. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's tight. I got my sponsors right here. <laughs> where where is Sarah's sponsor? What? Yeah. Yes. All right, Sarah, you just let us know. And our army is ready. What is this? I'll let you know. Okay. Pistachio? Turtle sauce. I <laughs> okay. turtle sauce. All right, I think I'm just gonna stick to the this guy right here. Oh, Alvin, he's trying to add us on his snap, but you know what? Alvin is in my vlog. He's hooking it up like a true homie. You guys want any lids? And he gave me a pink spoon. No, what is he? I'm a lady. Thank you, Alvin, for treating us like for treating us so nice. No problem. Super inspirational. So I opted for the plain yogurt. With some strawberries, mango, and of course, my uh, sugar addicted ass had to get some sour worms and gummy bears. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Okay, back home, washed my face. Thanks to all of you guys who actually responded to my video. Well, mainly all of you ladies who are giving me your skin care product and all the different makeup removers you guys use. Those things freaking rock. I think the best one you guys told me about was the towel that you just sweat and it removes all your makeup. Now, for the favorite part of my night, Papa Bear, can you please do me the honors? Fine. This is my favorite part right here. Why is your favorite part? Cause I tuck you in one way and Papa tucks me in another way. Oh, I thought you were gonna walk outside. What? I don't know. You always do jerk-like things. You never do jerk-like things. 
What do I do with all this crap? You just put stuff on the bed. I don't know why. What the hell? You were so sweet. I'm still sweet. Damn dog. Damn dog. We got how many months pregnant are you? None. You can get so ripped and sexy. I can't wait. Of course. Ooh, la 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 la. La 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 la. <laughs> Papa, I was telling them how we don't spend that much time together except for nighttime because it's designated bear time. Yeah. I love that guy. Me too. It reminds me of Tyson. <laughs> A little bit. He's so cute. He just stands there. Uh, and I was saying that Popper did a really good job creating a really solid foundation for us. Um, that I never, I mean, I obviously miss you, but it never really gets to me that we're not always together. What do you mean? Because we understand what each other is, like, our, what's on our plate. So we never get like, oh, you don't spend enough time with me. You don't miss me? Why don't you check in with me? Fine. You don't agree? You do say those things to me sometimes. Barely. We have a but, any time together. But that's after how many months? After like two Don't lie now. Days. I knew it. Why do you always have to make me look bad? I don't make you. I just tell the truth. You promise it's the truth? Yes. You swear? Yes. When was the last time I said you don't spend time with me? Um, The other time. And then so I started making active. What other, what like other time? What other time? What other time? Look back on our Instagram when we went hiking. That was last month. And then, well, because last weekend we had a friend's birthday. So things changed. But then, no, it wasn't last month. It was like two weeks ago. No, that was a different one because we, that's not the same reason. We've been reason. hiking twice already. That's, no, and it's not because I miss you. Look, I was trying to be cute. I was giving you credit. I am and you're, cute. you're busting all these lies, and now I'm we're not, having a disagreement. No, I am cute, Mom. Babe. You're not cute. I was giving you, I was saying, Papa created a dope foundation, and now you made my whole vlog look bad. Because I spent like 10 minutes talking about that. And now you said in two days I say that. Well, no, you're looking at it from negative view. That means that's how much you miss. No, you need no shit. But that's not how you presented it. You presented it to say that my statement was false. No. Yes, that's I, how you presented it. I promise it. I wasn't. Y I you promise. did. I promise. I was trying to point it out that someone misses someone after two days. Fuck no. Well, that someone's not me. Well, ow. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, whoever's up there taking care of me. Karma. I love you. No. <gasps> what? Well, anyway. Come so, love me. I no. just tucked you in. So, now my night comes to an end, and this guy fucked up. No, I, I was didn't. saying, And you guys heard all the nice things I said about him. And all he did was just, he couldn't wait to make me look bad. No, I didn't. You I win. Said, you took it the wrong way. You win. I laid out an objective fact. Which is after two days, you ask me how come we don't spend enough time. So you could have took. When was so? So then you're saying two days ago. So you're saying Friday I said this? Listen to me. You could have took. I don't even know what day today is. You could have took the negative route. Saturday. Fuck, whatever. Two days ago. You could have took the negative route and say, oh, you're making me look bad. Or you could take the positive route, which is, oh, you're saying that I miss you. I do miss you a lot. Hell no, that's gross. You took the negative route. No, I took the real route. I'm not trying to be gross. You're gross. Well, you still have a furry blanket on it because of me. No, because nobody loves me, so I gotta keep the fur on myself. No, I put That's it all a, over you. I don't know if they know that we sleep with two blankets, but we do. I took it out for you because no one else would take it out for you, so I always take it out for you from in there. Because I'm lazy. I know, and I take care of you. <sighs> Ruined such a magical moment. Alright, guys. Thank you so much. For spending the day with me. Good night. Good night. Ew. Get off me. Get off me. I hate this. Get off me. You smell bad. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. I saw her dance with the devil. And he was wearing my suit 
Black and white Jordan Levin And she was looking for you No, 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 I didn't know. I thought it'd be more I than... I fucking let him come in my mouth and I'll spit it back on her dick. Is that hot? Well, I don't know. Maybe that's what he wants. Oh. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Nadim, it's not about him, all right? I already have his answer. I want yours. 